can you get 5G if you are not on the map in a 5G region? Keep it simple, keep it very real in this case. So I am here at home and I'm at the back of our house because um, we are, according to the Telstra database, uh, rightly so, we are not in a 5G coverage area. Um, we do see that, that just around the corner, literally a few hundred meters on either side, around, all around us, we are um, actually able to get 5G. So what I have here to demonstrate today at home is my RETX50 with a Telstra SIM card in here, as you can see down below. I do have an antenna on my um, setup, but I don't have it connected yet, so you'll see there is the um, MIMO 417 from pointing, not yet connected, so it's all disconnected. So for this initial test, it is not an external connected antenna, which I just want to get this cable out of the way. Um, right, so we have this thing, and I am connected, so I just want to show you as well on the um, data what it looks like. So I'm just going to do my connection. Um, sorry for that background noise. Um, so you see, this is the unit, it's connected. Network, it says here, SIM1 is inserted, everything is all good. Telstra registered, it says 4G, no problems with that. Band 28, band 3, so it is connected. It's not like I'm not having any internet, but I can't get 5G in here. Um, my signal strength, the minus 61, which relates more to 3D, is excellent. And RSRP, which is really what we need for good 4G connections, it only says fair to poor. RSQ, so the quality and the um, signal to noise, uh, jumps a bit so it goes between good and pretty pretty weak okay so that's the baseline no 5g 4g is pretty average so if i go to speedtest.net uh there and just see what we get as far as the experience from this kind of connection telstra connected to this device out here in the middle of home using the rtx 50s own antennas well it is pretty damn good Let's, let's, let's be honest, the speeds are phenomenal, 350 down and 20, 30, 30, well, whatever it is going to end up, it jumps a bit, but 16 up. So there we go. We say it is 4G. The 4G obviously is CAT20 on the RTX 50, so you can expect really good 4G connections. It does bring me to another topic I will bring at some future point as well as what do you need out of 5G? If 4G can do you this kind of service. Is it that bad? No, it is definitely not. 4G has a lot of legs to go, but there we go. Our baseline inside the house, it's gonna be hard to beat on the outside. So I will go outside now. I often do my videos just on the other side of this window, just a little bit up, and I'm going to have it connected to an external antenna to show you the effect that an external antenna can have on an actual antenna. Um, in, in our case, what you would then do, I'll explain a bit more when I'm outside, is I'll still have my modem on a place like this where the connection is not 5G, and then you could run a cable and have the antenna on the outside. And that's the beauty of external antennas. Antenna outside, cabled into the modem where you want the modem to be. That is the beauty of how these things work. Has been like that, will be like this for a long time to come, uh, no matter what application. So I'm gonna go outside, set this up again and see what the new test looks like. All right, the setup is fairly simple. I took the RTX 50. I'm going to talk at some point about my setup here because this is just a lightweight tripod on our website. Um, I'm using a DIN rail, which I just use the U-bolt to connect to the um, device itself. I also have enough space so I can make longer versions so that I can have the BAT120 or other auxiliary stuff as well connected to this simple and compact um, and pretty portable 4G, 5G connection system. So my RTX 50 connected with the cables to the MIMO 417. All the cables go straight into the actual RTX 50, so this is a really compact really simple setup i am literally just 10 meters away from where just did my 4g test and i didn't have any 5g because telstra tells us we are not really in a 5g bubble but we do know there's 5g all around us in sub um, surrounding suburbs so let me connect to this device and let's see what we get in terms of our um, connection quality so i'm just going to record my screen okay I am on, I am connected to the RTX 50 and it is connected to the 5G internet. As you can see there, registered home, Telstra, Telstra 5G, VO, um, VO LTE. So it's all looking pretty much as you would hope, which is not what Telstra tells you because they tell you that on basic 
um, basic phone and indoor level um, connections. So just going through the connection quality again. Um, you can see there, it still reads the same type network type, LTE B1. Uh, it still has readings that are, um, I don't know, debatable, but the proof is in the pudding. So as an end user, that's exactly what you see on the screen is what readings that I had on the indoors. So I'm just going to repeat and fingers crossed it works, otherwise I have to reshoot the video. Not really, this is about being real. So I get what I get and that's how I want to share it with you. Um, download speeds, same order of magnitude. Um, 300, I had 350 on the inside, so that's quite interesting. <laughs> Very interesting to see what we get here. Upload, that's where a uh, key difference is. So, this is the difference. So download is not necessarily where we get the difference because fast is fast. How much faster do you want to go? I am in suburbia and I am in Adelaide. It's the upload where the difference is. There we go. I was expecting to see this and I thought, do I have to please explain myself out of the download being comparable? Or can I tell you the upload is the difference between an okay signal and getting a really good signals and you can go even further than that. 89.6 down, uh, up, and I had about 20 on the previous measurement. So that's heaps faster. And it is definitely way faster than what you really need at this point in time to just get a good day-to-day -day connection. So if anybody wants to tell me, well, what do you need? This is more than good enough. And comparing this to some of the um, very popular and um, highly um, discussed internet and, and satellite-based systems that you get these days, Upload is where there's a massive difference in the 5G network and it's only going to go from strength to strength. But that's it. How do you get a very simple and very effective um, external antenna to get you a great connection where Telstra tells you it is not a 5G area? You use an external antenna, get good quality cables and you get a good quality router. All available at rfshop.com.au so give us, a, give us a call, look at the packages on our website. Um, and yeah, just send us an email if you have any questions or just my, my comments on, the, on this um, video as well. We'll see you again soon. This is, um, this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty chuffed. Thanks, hey, bye-bye. Okay, so I actually finished the previous video and I just saw, um, I mean, as this thing keeps registering and changing its condition, that the network has changed further. So um, just looking at the latest readings as I was walking back to the camera to back up um, on the actual app itself, it says here, um, network type 5G, as I said, it now actually says 5G, it didn't say that on the previous version which I recorded and uploaded. Um, carrier aggregation, triple connected bands, now it goes to LTE B1, just as I was showing this on the screen. So it keeps jumping, there you go, back to B um, triple and showing LTE B7. Um, uh, there's so much readings there, so let's just have some fun and do another speed test.net to see if there's a difference in our reading. So there's the one that I had on my first shot, just there. Um, let's do it again. Come on, nice. This is what customers always do. They keep coming back and they say, well, the speed. So let's see, 23 milliseconds, still the same speed. Order of magnitude is about 300. Um, I'd say if you get anything above 100, it's already great. If you get to 200, I get ecstatic. If I get to 300, I'm just super chuffed. Ah, uh, there we go. We're breaching 100 upload, not download. So we have more than 100. Ah, damn, it goes down below. <laughs> See, when you are really getting used to good connection, you kind of complain when you only have 97 upload. That is phenomenal. I thought I want to share you this, and this was just a sort of results. I thought I might as well add that to the video. This is phenomenal. So the solution, good quality antenna. This is the MIMO 417, but if you have a static setup, the directional antennas would be even better. Um, this is great for caravan or for a um, marine application, and it's very portable, so if you go camping in a tent or something, there you go, just take your 5G kit with you, no problems at all. And the RTX 50 is definitely our 5G router of choice. All from rfshop.com.au. Thanks for watching and hopefully this is the last time I'm signing off on this video. <laughs> Cheers, bye-bye.